Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're making black eyed peas. Mm. Not to be confused with the musical group. <laughs> we're going to be eating these. <laughs> yes, also known as lobia in Hindi. And uh, it's a very simple recipe. It's going to be in the crock pot. So it's literally throw, 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 throw. Turn it on. Walk off. Come back. <laughs> That's about it. Right. <laughs> Let the crock pot do the work for you. Okay. Actually, slow cooker do the work for you. So we took one cup of black eyed peas and we soaked them overnight. We washed and soaked them and they've puffed up nicely and we've drained them now. So this is what they look like. It's kind of nice to do the soaking beforehand. That way it speeds up the cooking process and you kind of get rid of all the, the gassy water and um, some people don't like the flavor of that water. So that can go away. <laughs> and so these are ready to go. So here we have a blender over here. We're going to start putting in the masala stuff. This is. Uh, half a medium onion the other half we've used for something else but this is exactly the half so I'm just going to cut it into big chunks dump it in and tomatoes, two Roma tomatoes green chili to taste two garlic pods same amount of ginger so And we're going to take one tablespoon of oil and put that in there. And cover this. And we're going to grind this into a smooth paste. Now, like we said, it's a very easy recipe. Now, this is a five quart slow cooker that we are using. And we're going to put again the rest of the things in here mm -hmm. the black eyed peas. Now, sometimes, you know, blenders don't grind very well. So if you need to use water to grind it, it's okay. You can just use the two cups of water that you are going to be adding in here. You can just use, use it to help you grind that uh, tomatoes and onions, but mm -hmm. ours did not need it. So. Mm -hmm. so we'll add that in. And again, this is the two cups of water. I'm just going to use this to clean this out. Two cups of water and we're going to put spices now. And put salt to taste. Be a little conservative on the salt right now because uh, we'll tell you a little later. <laughs> going to put red chili powder to taste, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon chaat masala, half teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon garam masala and one teaspoon of freshly ground coriander powder. And we'll mix this all up so all the spices get coated. And we'll cover this up and put it in our crock pot. Now this is going to take a total of six hours of cooking time on high. And the first five hours is going to be covered and cooking. And the last one hour we're going to uncover it and let it go. But total six hours and it should be done. Now there's a reason why we uncover and cook it. Now we notice that if you do not uncover and cook it, the onions and the tomatoes don't, they still have a kind of a little raw flavor to mm -hmm. it because originally you're supposed to make the Punjabi masala on the stove and you're supposed to cook and cook and cook and cook and, and we say until yeah. the oil separates yes. which basically all the moisture goes away and then the onions actually have time to cook in the oil so the same thing here once it cooks and cooks and cooks it's still gonna have like a stewy flavor but when you uncover it and let it go the flavor changes dramatically absolutely and it's still a lot easier to then to do it on the stove top so honestly let the crock pot or the slow cooker do the work for you so five hours on high covered one hour open cover on high itself so it will evaporate a little bit and you get that nice mm -hmm. masala flavor and it will be right on. Mm -hmm. But how easy is that? We are going to put it away and we are going to forget about it. Mm -hmm. That is how easy it is. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. Yes, let us have a look. Oh Ooh. yummy. Gosh, it smells so good. So look at that. A lot of the water is evaporated and it's actually cooked down and it's nice and thick and it's good enough to eat either with a chapati or with rice. Either way, I mean it's a perfect texture right. and it smells so delicious. That slow cooked flavor is just amazing on here. Right. Now that's the reason why we said be conservative on the salt in the beginning because the water is going to reduce. So, you know, you can, it's always, salt is such an easy fix. You can always put it later on. So it's just, you know, that's a word of caution and a word of advice from 
to <laughs> cooks who have learned the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> We've experimented about this for you, so make it easier for you. But this is ready. So the only thing now we're going to do is we're going to pour some lime or lemon juice and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. And of course, signature Indian garnish. Cilantro. <laughs> there <you> Danya. <laughs> yes, and that's the time of serving. It's all done. We're ready for dinner already. Yeah. So now for all the folks out there who do not have slow cookers or do not want to make this in a slow cooker, <laughs> it's very easy to do it on the stove on the stove top. You can just pressure cook your lobia or your black eyed peas with some water. Again, you can use the same amount, pressure cook it and uh, it'll, it will be, it'll take a little longer than your just one whistle, probably like three whistles and you can open it up and make some masala on the side. So make your onions, use, again use the same amount of uh, onions, tomatoes and all your masalas, bruno it or cook it till the oil separates, add it to the black eyed peas and let it boil together. Mm -hmm. It's really Q -E simple. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>